Hello there, everybody. Welcome on back to some more Ultra Modded Isaac. That's right. I'm actually recording Ultra Modded Isaac. I'm not streaming it. I'm not. I'm here. I, I did it. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. Let's spin the wheel of modded characters and figure out who we're going to play today. It's probably going to be an Alpha Birth character, so I can say, Ugh, Alpha Birth isn't in the mod pack anymore. No, never mind. It's actually going to be the Siren, uh, who... Dude, I'm going to be real with you. There is a realistic chance that I have never actually played this character before. Uh, so this could be a journey today. I'm going to get this set up. I'll catch you guys in game. All right, we here. We did it. It's a siren. Two HP, one speed, two, two attack. I mean, look, we'll, we'll see her actual stats when we get into the dang old game. But uh, here you go. This is her. We did it. Uh, I don't know what the hell anything is with her, but here's a seed. KXRX 3JQ6, as always, if you'd like to play along, uh, you can find the mod pack in the description uh, down below. Hope you guys are having a fine and fancy dandy freaking slithering tears go lucky day today. Uh, you know what? Let, okay. So Siren makes, makes our boys happy. And then I'm slowly gaining damage. No, I'm slowly gaining luck. So does that luck reset? It's looking like I pop space bar item. It's whenever an enemy is charmed and I kill them, I get luck. And then that luck does not reset. It's permanente. Interesting. And I have... My starting item appears to give me the ability to charm. So, it's all built around charming enemies and then killing them. Which is, I mean, more or less what the Sirens did in the ancient Greek history to begin with. They charm sailors, bring them in, uh, and then they slaughter them. After, I think, having sex with them. But look, you know, that part of Greek history is basically like, you know, you can do a quick understanding of Greek history. Uh, and it's basically like, uh, who did Zeus want to bang today? And then Zeus goes, oh, I want to bang uh, an American girl from Tennessee. And then he goes down the earth, he bangs the American girl from Tennessee. Although normally, you know, it was, in fact, in Athens or other parts of Greece. Normally Athens, right? Like, primarily Athens, you know, and then Hera would get pissed, so then she'd make... Uh, another baby, and then that baby would be Dionysus, and then he just wants to get drunk. It, it's... Look, Greek history is one of those very, uh, very complicated things to understand in the history of our universe. Because for the most part, it's just a lot of sex everywhere. Uh, but then there's just like, oh, I'm, I'm the Greek goddess of, uh, the harvest. I'm the Greek goddess of delivering messages. Like, it, they just came up with random crap. That they wanted to make uh, Greek goddesses. And then you get into... Ro I can fly, fun fact. Uh, and then you get into Roman gods. Which are basically like, oh yeah, hey. You know, Greece, by the way. We're just going to rip like all of the gods that you have. But we're going to name them after planets instead. And everyone was like, oh yeah, okay, cool. That's chill. Apparently that's not a secret room, by the way. You could have damn fooled me. But you do you game. I don't care. Really, the, the whole concept of multiple gods, uh, I'm with it. I got no issues with it. In, in my opinion, it makes things easier. It's like, hey, you, you want a, uh, a good harvest this winter? Slash summer, since you, you normally don't have a harvest in the winter. Unless, I guess, you're harvesting, like, grapes. A tears up, slightly higher chance to miss. I mean, it sounds horrible, but it is a tears up, so. Yeah, I mean, the tears are going a little bit haywire, but friggin' YOLO, dude. Head on down. Uh, but I don't know. It's, it's so much easier than to just... Well, I suppose it's actually not. Like, just having one god... You know, if you are religious, I suppose. If you're not religious, then I suppose, you know... Having one god versus several gods... Not really making a difference to you. Because you don't care about any of them to begin with. But it, you get what I'm saying, right? Maybe you don't. In, in fact, there's actually probably a better chance that you don't have a single clue what I'm freaking talking about. Uh, if you haven't noticed, it, it is late night with Tyler. Um... It's been a while, dude. It's been a hot minute since we've had Late Night with Tyler. This is called, uh, 
I had some beautiful time open up over the past 12 hours, and I went, guess what? I can record tonight. Uh, and what better to record than freaking Isaac, dude? Because who doesn't like Isaac, right? Uh, besides literally me every time I go to record it. But that, look, that is neither here nor there. Isaac is a great game with a happy, healthy, and loving community. Am I right? I'm saying this so that they don't kill me. Keep a smile on your face. Uh, it just, you know, Isaac kitties, don't, don't murder me in my sleep. Okay. I mean, I would like one more penny here. But you know what? Hey, hit me with one of these. Probably like infinitely better ways we could have done that, but I'm gonna chill with it for now. I want damage, by the way, because right now we're a little, uh, we're a little struggling in the damage department. Just, just a wee bit of damage we would go a long way for this run, but we're getting there. Dude, it's an exciting time uh, for video games and really Isaac fans right now because guess what? At the time this is going out, uh, if I keep my promise to myself with the schedule that I have uh, typed inside of the sticky note inside of my, uh, my phone in the notes tab, then in less than a week, Legend of Bumbo is going to be out. And that means that in less than a week, Legend of Bumble content is going to be on my freaking channel. And, I mean, there's there's nothing better than that, dude. If you don't know about Legend of Bumble, it's, it's a new game coming out by Edmund McMillan, the creator of Isaac. Uh, it is not published by Nicholas, so we don't have to boycott it. Uh, and it's, it's freaking lit, dude. Because basically, like, you know, Slay the Spire slash Dicey Dungeons uh, meets Binding of Isaac. And if you don't like Dicey Dungeons or Slay the Spire, first of all, I'm going to go out on a limb and just say that you've never played them because both of them are uh, very phenomenal games that you probably would have enjoyed if you actually picked them up or taken a look at them. But uh, it's going to be like a strategy-based roguelite instead of an action-based roguelite, but it takes place in the Isaac universe, so there's going to be a lot of... Uh, Isaac references and stuff like that. It apparently takes place like a half hour before the Binding of Isaac story. Um, which, you know, is not a lot of time. I'm just gonna throw it out there. That was phenomenal damage that we took right there. I feel really good about that one. Just walking directly into uh, the spike trap and then the fire and then down a hole and then a pit and you know, here we are. We made it. What do we want? Uh, I want blanket please and then i also like five bombs and i really the cards tempting as well but i'm gonna i'm gonna just chill with these here living my best life in all of the ways possible but uh yeah i'm super amped for bumbo uh is is gonna be a phenomenal phenomenal game uh ed's been streaming it on youtube so I've been watching the live streams and watching all the videos that he posted. It. So I kind of have like a general idea of how to play the game, but there's going to be so much for us to explore uh, in that game because it, like, you know, a normal Isaac Ed game, uh, there's like a ton of unlocks in it and secret characters and stuff like that. So, I mean, we, we are going to be grinding Bumbo and that, that makes it sound sexual, but I'm going to be grinding, making content for Bumbo. Does that make it better in any way, shape, and form? Please tell me yes. Uh, yeah, so about this. Nonchalantly, I'm gonna take a Badin, and then I'm gonna nonchalantly take this, and then I'm gonna nonchalantly leave. So that's something, I, I, I took a look at that room, and I went, uh, this is, this is going to change in the future. Um, because starting in Repentance, they're reworking Devil Deals. And I've talked about this in uh, a video or a stream or something uh, before. But they're reworking Devil Deals so that you can no longer do the trick where you kind of buy a 
two heart deal with one heart and, and that's totally fine it's actually going to end up costing spirit hearts in repentance which is is genuinely a good change um but i was looking at that situation I, i've i've been doing so much crap with repentance trying to figure out like everything going on so that day one you know we're we're set and ready to go with repentance and stuff like that that i'm starting to like i i see more repentance content like pre coming out repentance content than I play normal Isaac right now. <laughs> so my brain is starting to uh, just mold these games together and I forget uh, what is reality and what is not reality. And the fact of the matter is devil deals are 100% uh, still just broken as hell uh, in this version of the game. I, I actually do not want that item. And it takes, it takes a bold, strong Tyler for me to admit that I don't want to take an item on an Isaac run. Uh, because you know me, if it ruins the run, there's like a 65% chance I'm going to take it. Um, but in this scenario, I I really struggle to f come up with a good reason on earth for me to take that item. It literally purely hurts us. Um, sure, the HP is fine, but our speed is abysmal to begin with. Uh, and, and really, I just I don't like red HP. And I think that this is a run that maybe benefits more from not having red hp you know we already have some devil deals going here this this is even more interesting to be honest now we're getting bookworm and now we have you know a, an absolute butt ton of uh a butt ton of wait we should really get bookworm here please thank you and we should pick up the bible so that it, it never appears again i'm good with this so bookworm's sick in my opinion, one of the most uh, underrated transformations in the game. The ability to have an occasional 2020. And, and I would even argue it's like maybe 20% of the time you get the second tier. Which even 20% of 2020 is. I mean, held 20% of 20 is freaking uh, a 4. So it's like 24, which is obviously a great number. So. <laughs> This is logic that uh, you only get this at uh, at r slash Alexa, the official um, Alexa YouTube and Twitch uh, subreddit where you can post fan art and memes. Please make my subreddit alive because it's really sad right now and makes me cry. You can also join the Discord. There's a link in the description. And please come watch my streams. Okay, uh, besides all those shameless plugs... Let's talk about something, like, really crazy that I saw the other day. Um, Mike Posner, which is a name that, I'm going to be real with you, the last time I heard that was at, like, a 7th grade or 8th grade or freshman year of high school something dance that, you know, it, it was one of those... Uh, one of those, like, you know, where you do a slow dance and you're, you're saving room for Jesus. One of those dances. Uh, except it was, like, lights off and then everybody would try to grind on each other once the lights were off. Um, and it was really loud. And, like, everybody smelled as well. There, there was a lot that was wrong with uh, those dances in general. Did I, did I make a mistake here? Do I occasionally fire... Dude, I don't know what the hell this item just did, but it, it's all good. But he was the guy, he wrote the, uh... If I could write you a song and make you fall in love, I would already have you up under my arms. Something, something, uh, you think you're cooler than me? And then he had, like, one other song. <laughs> and I don't remember what the other song was. Yo, Max's head is stupid good. It's a huge damage up. And speed up, apparently. So, freaking lit, dude. But, um, anyway, so I, I literally genuinely forgot that this guy existed. Uh, I was never a fan of his music to begin with, but that's beside the point. But apparently this guy had, like, some kind of enlightenment. Uh, he, he stopped making music, but he, or maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I have no idea what Mike Posner is doing in his uh musical career at this point and, and i'm gonna be real with you i i genuinely don't care what mike posner is doing in his musical career at this point but um i will take that i'm willing to totally re-roll these but i want to take dimes first yeah re-roll them absolutely worth to be honest take all of this 
open at this. This went fine. Walking on sunshine, I don't really care about. I suppose that's fine. But uh, this guy had some kind of weird enlightenment. God bless him. I got no issues with that. Uh, he had some kind of weird enlightenment and decided that he was going to walk across the country. Just like, no car, no, just literally walk across the entire country. And he's been doing this crap for like months at a time. So I, I saw this, um, I saw the original post of this, like, a good, it was a couple months ago, to be honest with you. Uh, and what I saw was apparently he got, like, bitten by a rattlesnake in Texas or something like that, which is no joke. Like, rattlesnakes are extremely poisonous. Uh, and, like, he was in the hospital and he was like, you know, I'm, I'm going to continue walking when I get out of here, but, you know, this is just a small step in the wrong direction for me right now and all this other stuff and i was like dude you literally got bit by a rattlesnake like chill stop walking across the country my dude but he he freaking continued and i saw like a week or two ago that he made it to california and he literally walked or the east coast or i don't know where he started to be honest with you but this son of a gun actually walked like across the entire country and he used to be this like super famous uh, musician. I had no idea that. I, I mean, one, I, I actually just genuinely forgot that the guy existed. So to find out that he was doing anything, I was surprised. But then to find out that he did something as friggin' epic as uh, running across the entire country. I suppose running is a little bit of a weird one, but uh, I just it blows my mind that this wasn't in the news more. Because if you imagine if like Post Malone all of a sudden was like, yeah, I'm not making music anymore. I'm going to walk across the country. He would have a cameraman next to him 24 freaking seven. And people would be, it would be post watch, you know, or uh, watch Malone, which sounds even worse, to be honest with you. Uh they, they would be chanting on Twitch, host Malone. And it would be a Twitch stream of him, uh, of him walking around. Or it would be like, uh, you know, hey, hey, what did you eat for breakfast? And he'd be like, uh, you know, we're out in the wilderness, but I brought my toaster. I've got some toast Malone here. Something like that. Dude, we just got absolutely rammed in the butt with our tears. That, that blows. We'll head on down. I, I don't care to I don't care to stay here. Or maybe like, you know, instead of him streaming from a PC to Twitch, he would stream from his post my phone. <laughs> uh or let's see, what else could what else could Post Malone do? He could go on Comedy Central with a bunch of uh celebrities, Shaquille O'Neal, Martha Martha Stewart and uh Snoop Dogg, and they could have a big old roast Malone. Maybe, uh, maybe he could grab the, the star of SNL's, or, uh, NBC's Saturday Night Live. Is that on NBC? Yeah, we're gonna pretend it is for the sake of this. NBC's Saturday Night Live, Colin Jost Malone? Possibly? There's a lot of potential in, in this, in this. I'm just gonna call it in this for the time being, uh, cause I, I genuinely barely even know what this is at this stage of uh at this stage of the conversation how many how many post malone related puns can we come up with by the time i finish the isaac run that's that's the new that's the new one. you know what give me a second give me a second just, just doing a quick search doing a <laughs> doing a quick search I laugh because you have no idea what I searched, but it's fine. Alright, uh, you know what happens when uh, when Post Malone is trying to get into a serious relationship with a girl out of his league? So he sends her a text message, and then he sends her another text message, and then she doesn't reply to that one, so he sends her a third text message, and she never replies. You, you just got Ghost Malone. Or maybe, uh, maybe Mike Posner walked from, uh, Coast Malone to Coast Malone. 
possibly if he took up uh, if he took up football, he'd be a kicker so we could get it through the goalpost, Malones. <laughs> uh, it's some good stuff, man. This is quality entertainment that you're you're listening to here on uh, 96.5 The Isaac. I'm your host, Host Malone. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. It's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. Uh, this Isaac run is fine, everybody. Th there's a reason that we can delve into conversations about hell knows what. Dude, something is jacked up with the loot pool in this game right now. Are you noticing that we have gotten, like, five uh, extra constellations items on this one? I'm not complaining because the game, like, isn't lagging at all, but I guarantee I jacked something up with the mod list, uh, and that is making a real weird item pool for this run. But that's okay. I, I got no issues with a, uh, a weird item pool on this run. Mainly because, I mean, I have a co-host, and that co-host is co-host Malone. And he's helping make uh, the conversation worth my while. Dude, this room is actually, like, the utmost Malone worst room I've ever been in in Isaac in human history. But it's the most Malone's worst room ever. Oh, these guys also suck. I'm not used to these new enemies, man. The, the new one is, is a mod that just adds, like... An absolute buttload of enemies. I still do not know how half of them work. Which, I mean, it, it creates issues, for sure, in the long run. Please just crank on this guy. If I was a Fortnite move that I could do with building, I'd be cranking 90s. I hate Velociraptor Toy. It's a terrible item. What the crap is this, dude? Hi. Do, do you go into it? I'm going to take both of them, and then I'm going to step on it. Oh, what the hell? Adam's rib. Enemies with full health take extra damage. Okay. I mean, I just gave him my, uh, my, my active item that I wasn't using to begin with. So in the end, do you really care? The answer is absolutely not. Yo, this ad, this knife is sick. The first hit doing like friggin' buttloads of damage is fantastic. I have 11 damage on this run, dude. I'm drowsy. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. I, I trust me. As I was saying, there was nothing wrong with that. I looked over to the list of words that rhyme with post on my other monitor right now, and I was like, "Damn, do any of these fit? Got to make one fit. Got to make one fit." And I almost Malone found one, but see what where you start to get like really in depth with the uh, post Malone conversation is if you start to make it rhyme with Malone instead. Because uh, then you might as well just take the conversation post Mahome at that point. Because uh, we're killing it. Nine rate of fire. Is analog stick really a tears up? Because that's news to me, dude. I actually had no idea that was a tears up. But I suppose it might be. Perthro? Well, I have Max's paw. Convert a red heart to a damage up. I mean, look, I'm a simple man, all right? I'm a very simple man. I'll do it twice, and I won't look back. Thank you. Apparently, those guys do not get killed on one shot now. See, the higher damage we do... So, the first tier we fire is doing basically 20... Oh, it's basically doing 24 damage the first time we hit somebody. That is going to pretty much legitimately one-shot most standard enemies in the game. 
which is really good for us in case you are unaware of how dealing damage works in the binding of isaac the more damage we do the happier you are we have a shop shop's gonna be down here somewhere really disgusting that those guys uh count as different enemies we did know that they do but it just makes our life so much easier re-roll machine the emperor card is awesome uh because we can skip the womb there's a chance we can make it to hush too but a lower likelihood than without our uh this is a secret room what the hell is the forgotten room dude had no idea that legitimately spawned as a secret room <laughs> A little bit creepy, to be honest with you. Like, I, I don't actually think I like that at all. Scared the hell out of me. Oh, my shop. It's got to be here, right? Yeah, okay. I got 55 monies, and I'm, I'm ready to spend them. I'm also taking, like, a, a plethora of terrible damage on this run. That we would like to mitigate uh, and turn into a whole hell of a lot of zero damage. But... Look, we'll be fine. All right, it's a mom fight here, which is going to go just swimmingly because we have an orbital. In fact, I mean, it went so swimmingly that I, she is actually, like, basically already dead. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Let's head on down and then pop the Emperor more or less immediately. And by more or less, I mean, like, it is instantly immediately. Um, because I hate the womb and it sucks and if i can beat it and leave i'm gonna beat it and leave just like a michael jackson song except it doesn't go beat it beat it beat it beat it beat it then just leave we'll beat it show me your post show me your malone it doesn't matter if you're posner or post just beat it and then leave it. Paperclip is pretty good, but... I don't think it is a requirement on this run. I don't actually know what our trinket does. <laughs> so I suppose I probably should should just get rid of it. But, I mean, we're doing fine with it. And if, if the... If it, if it ain't broke, then Post Malone won't fix it. I, I'm going to be real with you. I can't name one song by Post Malone. All I know is, is he's a, a really frightening looking dude. And that's no hate towards him. Uh, I'm sure he's a very kind individual with a loving heart. But he looks like a serial killer. So, if you like Post Malone's music, uh, best to you. If you like Mike, Mike Posner's music, I'm sorry. He's uh, walking the country now and will not be able to make uh, new hot, uh, hot singles in your area. Um, but, you know, sometimes life comes at you fast, especially if your name is Mike Posner. I just realized if that's the secret room, 100% we would be able to get the heck out of it and go north. Yeah. Just like that. But look, clearing a couple extra rooms is really going to kill you. The answer is it's not. What happened on this run where all of a sudden I feel like way weaker than I did before? Did something happen when I lost that active item? Was that active item doing like way more for me than I initially thought? Because I genuinely do feel weaker on this run. And I feel like we just need to... Uh, we need to get back JoJo to a place where, oh boy, this will be fun. What could go wrong here, right? Alright. Well, it was a nice teleportation. Hey, please, why would you why, why would you push the chest out of the way? Thank God I spent two bombs and got two bombs. It'd feel way worse if I spent three bombs and got two bombs, so it's a win-win my book. Am I going to do Hush? Almost certainly, I think. This is a very Hushable run. You got decent tiers. You need more items. You might as well do Hush, right? 
Super secret. Show it to me. Show me the money. It's fine, but it's not really what I would define as the money. I would define it as a subpar investment into a uh, sad but sorry final boss. You know, it's like when you decide to invest in Bitcoin and then like days later it, it dips down to below 7,000 when you bought it for, you know, 32,000. It's just an unfortunate situation at that point. Uh, I am going to pop the Empress on this boss fight. And then following that, I am going to go get the world car. And by world car, I mean world card. Not sure why I said world car. Sounds like I'm trying to say world star, which is an entirely different thing in general that I have zero interest in talking about. Give me a double deal. It's 100%. You're guaranteed. Get, get, give me Judas's shadow. Just because our damage would be so off the chains good uh, if we if we died with it. I just, I struggle to desire dying with it right now knowing that we don't have a guarantee of spirit hearts on this floor. But if I get a guarantee of spirit hearts on this floor... Well, that's even weirder. I really don't want a D100, dude. Like, don't get me wrong. It's it's a fun time. But is, is that really the best case scenario for us? Of course it is. Okay. Uh, we will D100, but I'm going to kill myself first. So that we get the Judas' shadow benefit. I and mean, basically, here, here's what I'm telling the game. Uh, Frig you, I'll make my own rules. I'm Post Malone. Uh, I'll make my own rules, and I will ensure that I die on my own accord. And that own accord is going to be with 20 damage, and by that I mean 12 damage and 4 rate of fire. Alright. So I'm no longer the Siren. You know what? I had a great time as the Siren today. Very happy to have uh, experienced the Siren. But, um... Look, there's I got bigger fish to fry. In fact, those fish that I'm frying, you might as well call me a uh, church during Lent because I'm about to fry friggin' all your fish and buy a ton of free crap from this shop. You right? It's bang, fantastic. It's the D100 again. You know what? You can't stop me. Hit me. 17 damage and several rate of fire is what we're gonna call that. I don't really comprehend how how everything is going but I don't know this run seems fun I've got conjoined conjoined is fun people like conjoined I'm, I'm a man of the people hive mind uh, why not guess what bang 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 19 damage you like that huh doesn't make you feel uh Make it feel warm and fuzzy inside, huh? Do I need the spool? I don't think I do. I mean, we could get really weird with it, but I really don't think I need that. What is this? Farewell stone. Beats the hell out of me what that just did. Uh, but hey, I'll mess with it. Let, let's go fight the boss. He's so dead, dude. Uh, it's just, just the deadest man. Are, are you seeing the tears that we are firing out right now? I look like a uh, dang old disease. I look like dang old Post Malone. Back at it again. Look who's back again. This is a strong run. Every modded run ends up being a very strong run. But uh, this one... This one felt good too. I am very tempted to pop the, the 48 hour energy and re-roll in here. But I'm going to save it for when I'm about to die. Uh, and then I'll do it. And this is also a run that is going to La Cathedral, not to La Dark Room. We do have run objectives on, so it tells us where we'll be going. This is a total barrage of shots, dude. And I really like that Adam's uh, Adam's Rib or Adam's Knife or whatever it is item. That's from Community Remix, I would assume. That was uh, that was a very fun item to receive. 
I enjoyed that a lot. I, I, I wish we still had that, to be honest. Because it, uh... It, it was doing way more damage to enemies than what could originally meet the eye. That said, I, I am enjoying this, like, absolute spray and pray P90 from Fortnite action that we got going on right now. I mean, it, it is Operation Obliteration going on in this hush room. Operation, uh, you ready? I'm going to impersonate Mike Posner right now. I'm, I'm on the East Coast. Guess what? We made it. This is, this is how you can... It's late night with Tyler. This is how you can tell it's late night with Tyler. Because I'm saying things. I'm going to end this recording. I'm going to go to bed. And I'm going to go... Yep. Don't remember anything I talked about in that video. And I'm going to have to rewatch it to make sure that I didn't cuss somebody out in the middle of it. Or be like... Uh, you know... Oh, I think that... Uh, I think that women's rights should be abolished. You know? Stuff that is just absolutely ridiculous. I, I love... I love all women... And think they're great and their rights should not be abolished but sometimes late night with Tyler he'll say things and you know what comes out you never really know you never really know please do not take <laughs> the aforementioned line out of context I, I really do love women's rights I am a total feminist it was just a reference and joke all right let's let's get the hell out of here we do have the d100 still which is fun which is fun i closed my eyes for a second there uh bear with me i'm tired it is only 10 30 which you're gonna be like tyler weak sauce what the hell is this room and you know what you're right it is pretty weak sauce i should be awake but guess what i woke up at like seven this morning I went to class for five hours, deal with a bunch of a-hole professors, and then, you know, I'm here. I made it. What are you? Lacrophagy. I mean, it, it, it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird, but it, it's weird in all of the best ways. I'm very close to dead. Like, ridiculously close to dead. Look at this crap, dude. I've never seen a Lacrophagy run that actually was fun. This one is proven. I don't have flight. You know what? As fun as that run was, you got to bear with me. It was a bad idea for us to continue that. I will also finally drop whatever that crap was that we were holding. So we still, we, I mean, we still have a very good run here. I just am probably going to attempt to re-roll it as many times as humanly possible, so smack that. We're now at 34 damage. Don't know how the hell we re-rolled and got a better run than before. I kind of thought that was the peak of our stuff. Never mind, I'm going to hit you with a, a six room now. You think there's enough re-rolls? I got... My damage is, I mean, is changing on the daily. It's not making much sense to me. I have like 18 empty bone hearts. Addicted is, is a horrendous pill to be carrying. I mean, we do have 35 damage mom's knife, which, I mean, look, it, it basically means that I'll obliterate everything in my path. Um, but our HP, uh, look, it leaves a little bit to be desired. It's just who needs HP when you smack, right? You, you provide the total smackdown, life is but a dream. We also are going to... So it's Brittle Bones is what gave us uh, this hell with the Bone Hearts. Which I suppose we probably could have... Look, we could have pieced two and two together. We're not Isaac uh, idiots. It's, it's Brittle Bones, which gives you like eight Bone Hearts, seven Bone Hearts, something like that. Uh, and then in return, whenever you crack them, you get a Tears Up. So we could get down to like freaking flinging mom's knife around like it's our job um i don't think we need to tech x is fun i'll take the rest of these how to jump is also like fun also holy lord 
I mean, it, it's a disgusting Tech X here, paired with Mom's Knife. And we do have Flight as well. Because it's a triple shot Tech X that is also doing 35 damage. And it's the boss fight already, which is a wee bit unexpected. I was going to do it. I'll do Delirium if they give me the portal. They didn't. You know what, dude? It's still a good run. It's a very good run. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, as always, liking the video helps me know that you're enjoying the Isaac series. Uh, I'm going to go sleep, and then uh, in the morning, I'll delete this video. Have a good one. Goodbye.